Moving on, the Minister of State for Kampala and Metropolitan Affairs, Kabuye Chofa Togabye, has appealed to fathers to fully engage themselves in the parental roles other than leaving their children to teachers and mothers. Now, Kabuye was presiding over the awarding ceremony of the COVID-19 implementing partners by the Aga Khan Foundation. The National Planning Authority report of 2021 projected that over 30% out of the 15 million learners that were in schools before the COVID-19 pandemic hit Uganda were likely not returned to school. The percentage translates into 4.5 million learners across the different education levels. The report highlights that as the impacts of the recession triggered by COVID-19 hit families, many children may be forced out of school into labor markets. Girls are likely to be much more affected than boys, with many forced into early marriages. There has been a significant surge in school dropout for girls and child marriages. And people, when I say this, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from a very informed position. As we hear, we handle, in the High Court, we handle criminal prosecutions. Mm. For every list that will come before you, mm. you're going to have about 52% defilement cases. Oh. Without exception. Yes and in every region. So you can imagine, that was before the COVID-19. While officiating over the awarding ceremony of the COVID-19 implementing partners by the Aga Khan Foundation, Minister of State for Kampala and Metropolitan Affairs attributed child marriages to absentee fathers who leave their parental responsibilities to women and teachers. He urged men to take up their responsibilities as parents. And the unfortunate thing that most of these teenager prisoners are in the responsibility are being by the parents themselves. The fathers. Can you imagine? How can you be interested in your own child you've raised? And this girl is just 14 years. Uh huh. Where did she get all that beauty? Fathers will become more spam donors than fathers. And you know this one? When I speak like this, fool is going to my Twitter and they start talking in nonsense. <laughs> so, fathers, stop becoming spam donors. What is your name? A number of non-government organizations were recognized for their outstanding performance in the COVID-19 response, which include Reach a Hand Uganda, which helps teenage mothers, Donor Center for Autism, which supports children and young people with autism, Chambogo University School of Special Needs, among others. So by partnering with the European Commission, we managed to leverage funds and grant to 10 civil society organizations and grassroots organizations to impact the development of Uganda in the areas of people living with HIV AIDS, people living with autism, and also to stimulate the economy in Uganda in many ways. So for example, that's in the tourism sector. One of the biggest tranches of funding was to the tourism sector and figuring out how we can regionalize tourism and stimulate the local economy and their interest in our local treasures here in Uganda. Over 700 people benefited from the COVID-19 response projects by Aga Khan Foundation and the European Union, which included special needs organizations, groups of people living with HIV, among others. Nalugo Muyingo, Africa Today.